Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday here, the 20th. Um, quiet morning, looks like quiet morning. We're right in the middle of things. Not a whole lot to do at the open here. Let's just pull up Euro real quick uh, and talk about this. Uh, the Wednesday bar was obviously the key day. Uh, looked like we were breaking out to the top side. And then we had the big long tail to the downside. But like I wrote on Twitter yesterday, this has not been resolved. If we just make this a little bit bigger. The resolution for this is, is down below the low there, which is 107.66, or above the high, which is 108. We'll call it 88. At 108.40, there's really nothing to do here. You could take a guess and see how this is going to get resolved. I have this odd feeling the top side is going to go. Um, but that's just a feeling. It's certainly not tradable. Um, I'm not about to leave a 70-point stop at 107.66 on just a guess. Uh, but keep an eye on this, right? Um, this will dictate what a lot of the other currencies do. Let's go to rates here. Uh, we talked about buying this yesterday, and of course this paid. Um, we were down there buying at 333, uh, now at 341. We still have half the position on. Looks like a turn. We feel like you're going to have a chance to get some stuff at 337. Um, this is the yield, of course. You've got to trade the future, so you're selling high ones in the 10 years. Um, let's see how this fans out. We've got Harker uh, at 3 p.m. and Waller, the two FMC guys, Waller at 7 um, p.m. today, Swiss time. Stocks, uh, not doing too, too much. A little bit higher here, uh, but still two big red days. But this could turn easily today. I don't know what's going to drive it. Uh, nothing going on there. Yesterday we talked about selling crude on the 81 handle. Um, we did sell, we sold 8133s on this bar here. It went up to 47. Um, but then we just, you know, closed it at the close. So we're not short crude anymore. This could easily go back up to 8250. Um, you know, tiny little 50 cent profit there uh, on crude, which is fine. Um, just fucking around, I guess. Aussie bouncing a bit here uh, in in tandem with Euro. Not much to say or do. Aussie CAD, nothing. We have retail sales in CAD today. This is interesting. Um, expectation is for negative prints after um, one point, positive 1.7 last time. These numbers are pretty wild. Uh, so you could expect some volatility here. This could easily drop right back down to the low, um, to the low 134, high 133s. Uh, but just be aware, CAD retail sales today. We had, we don't have a bee in our bonnet for any of that shit. Kiwi, same as Aussie. Cable. Uh, towards the end of the day, we had Euro sterling uh, selling, which pushed cable up to 97. We're back down at 50. I think there's going to be risk below uh, 123.16. Yesterday, they tried through 20. We got 16 twice. Um, is this going to push Euro Sterling higher? Probably, but really nothing nothing tradable. Dollar Swiss doing nothing, just waiting. The problem with Dollar Swiss is the elephant in the room is this huge consensus in the retail space to be long dollar Swiss, which is literally the kiss of fucking death. Um, so be careful being long dollar Swiss. Be patient. You saw how it extended further on Wednesday than anybody thought. Just for food for thought, if you pull up the weeklies, you can see this low here. Um, what was it 8095 80 80 85 what was it yeah 80 85 same low as the november um 8085 monday the 1st of november so you you kind of have a, a a nice double bottom here um but in classic fashion uh i suggest that this is going to trade 90 cents eventually 
may even trade on the 89 handle just to fuck um, the retail people who have been like stubbornly long this thing. I mean, look at these bars. These are weekly bars. Shit's going straight down. Of course, retail's long up the ass. Um, it's just classic markets. Uh, and until that's resolved, until this retail position is resolved, um, dollar Swiss can go up, but it's just going to have a hard time going up. So beware. Euro Swiss, the bane of our existence. Um, this is a weekly. It's a nice weekly bar there. Why this thing went down to 98.77, I don't know. We're getting back up through the, the 200 day now. Uh, we don't have a nickel in it. We played, we got paid a little bit yesterday just fucking around in very, very tiny positions, buying low ones. Uh, we sold 99.15s. Uh, we bought some 95, sold some 15s, so that was fine, but really not in sync with what the fuck is going on in Euro Swiss. Uh, should go higher. Should, you know, this thing should be higher, go higher. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what the delay is. Uh, looks like, you know, momentum money, big or big currency money, bought this sort of break higher and then puked it. That was the reason we went from 30 down to 77. That's like a monster man. You know, this is a guy buying a billion. This is a guy selling a billion. It probably, you know, cost him very little, maybe four basis points. But the rest of us were scurrying, going, what the fuck is this going up? What the fuck is this going down? And then here we are, uh, finishing the circle jerk. Um, anyway, sterling Swiss, nothing to do there. Euro sterling, 40 given, uh, I'm sorry, 30 given at the low. I guess we went down to what, 20, no, 24 did it go down to? Wow, 87.21. Um, right back at 70, this has just been rangy and shitty. Um, we did buy low ones at the end of the fix there yesterday. That was fine, but just for a trade. One of the reasons we think Euro is going to pop on the top side is gold is just so bid. Um, we're going to make some new highs here, get stretched up, um, up at 60. So nowhere, nowhere near close uh, on the stretchy stretch. So, again, more reason to believe the top side uh, in Euro is going to go. The rest of this shit is not really worth looking at, um, except for this dollar China. We talked about this yesterday. There was a huge offer at six seventy nine. We paid O twos. It was immediately thirty bid, so that was fine. But then, of course. It was just before the numbers crashed back down. It was a scratch for us in a sort of classic uh, break trade fashion, so we don't care. But the level is still kind of intact. We traded 1679.30 today again. And so if you drill down on this, there's something going on here. And so I would say through 679.30 should yield 50. If you get above 50, there's a lot of clean air. So this is... If the dollar gets bid um, and you want to take a punt on a technical pattern, I have no idea what the global macro is here, like whether to buy or sell China. I really just don't know. All the numbers they send are fraud anyway. Um, but, you know, if you say U.S. yields shoot higher, dollar China might be your horse. If you want to trade a, a technical pattern, um, what else is there? Ethereum uh, doesn't look like we're going to get given on low ones. This thing is holding up. It's very robust. Uh, 1550. Maybe over the weekend there'll be some vol. Matic, uh, more of its crippled brother, but it's fine. Um, so as as you can see, not much going on here. We're waiting for stuff to resolve. Uh, we're actually completely square with the exception of we're short tens uh, with half the position on just waiting now just being patient and waiting so patience is the word this morning 
uh, as Euro Swiss trades up at 99.35, just to annoy me. Um, but when you're annoyed about a currency pair, you just want to avoid it. And so I'm avoiding it. Don't want to be emotional about any of this shit. It's just numbers on a computer screen. Uh, anyway, whatever you guys are doing today, uh, good luck to you out there. We are sitting tight. We'll probably check back into these markets around lunchtime and see if there's any changes. Uh, red alert if we're at 108.80 or if we're at 107.70. Uh, then we go to battle stations. Anyway, good luck out there. See you Monday. Have a good weekend, people. Bye, 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 bye.